So let's suppose that we want to find the probability that z is between 0.5 and 1, which is 0.5 less than equal to z less than equal to 1. How would we draw that? Well, what we're looking for is we're looking for the area between, so we start at 0 and go a little, a little bit over to 0.5 and double the distance again to 1. And we're looking for the area between these two. So we can see that this area will be a lot smaller than half. It's going to be a small but significant probability. Now how would we find this? Well, the easiest way to find this using Excel is to express that this is equal to the probability that z is less than equal to 1, which we know how to find, minus the probability that z is less than equal to 0.5. And we know how to find each of these. I'll show you in a second how to do that in Excel. Graphically speaking, what we're doing is we are taking all of this area here, the probability z is less than 1, and we are subtracting from that the part of the distribution we don't want, which is all of this area here to the left of 0.5. So we will round out the functionality of this template to include uh, these more complicated probabilities. To begin, we'll label this second group probabilities using two z-scores. We will throw in here uh, labels for two z-scores, z-score low and z-score high. And we will start by looking at calculating the probability between z-low and z-high. As we saw in the video, in order to do this we need to find first the larger of the two areas, that is the probability to the left of z-high. And as we did above, we will type norm.s.dist and we're looking again for the area to the left of z high that is larger of the two areas after your comma indicate that you want the cumulative distribution or the area to the left of z high closing out your parentheses we now have that larger of the two areas in order to find the probability between z low and z high we now need to subtract from that area, the smaller of the two areas, which is the area to the left of z low. Using the same function, norm.s.dist, we will indicate the lower of the two z scores. And once again, we will indicate by double clicking that we want a cumulative result. And hit enter. Now we can quickly see what the probability uh, is that z falls between 0.5 and 1. We can see that that is 14.99% or 0.1499. Now, one other thing we may want to do is we might want to find the probability that z falls outside of this interval. So we will grab a new label. What is the probability that z falls below 0.5 together with or, or the probability that z falls above 1. And we know from this example, the previous video in the playlist, that that is simply equal to 1 minus the above probability. So this closes out our coverage of finding probabilities under the standard normal distribution using z scores or going from z scores to z probabilities. In future videos, we will look at how to go from a probability to a z-score. And finally, we will look at standardizing non-standard normal distributions and finding probabilities based on those. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that this helped.